in a previous video, linked at the top and down below, I discuss the EM drive and within it, a paper that attempted to explain the thruster using the UNRWA effect. This effect was first described in a paper published by Fulling, Davies, and UNRWA in 1976. It described a particle's path through space-time and how the vacuum would differ. The main observation to arise from this paper is that an accelerating detector moving through empty space will register a gas of particles with a temperature that is proportional to the acceleration. This may sound rather nonsensical given how we typically consider a vacuum. However, empty space, or a vacuum here, means that it is the lowest possible energy state that all of the fields that intertwine to create this reality exist in when there is no thing occupying that space. As acceleration increases, this lowest energy state no longer appears to be so, and therefore looks like it has increased in temperature. However, for there to be a one degree Kelvin difference between the accelerating detector and one that's still, it would have to be moving with a linear acceleration of 10 to the 20th meters per second squared. An acceleration of 100 billion billion is nothing to sneeze at, so we don't have any experimental confirmation of that particular aspect of the theory. However, this is one of the ways that accelerator rings within synchrotrons are limited in their efficiency. From the standpoint of the accelerating particle, whether it's moving linearly or around a curved track, space appears to be heating up. The object gets a sort of thermalized atmosphere around it, similar to what Hawking predicted to be around black holes. The two concepts, UNRWA radiation and Hawking radiation, are very similar. The equations are essentially the same. However, one is by acceleration, the other is due to a gravitational field. The UNRWA effect adequately explains certain quantum phenomena, therefore it's likely correct in its prediction that an accelerating observer will observe space heating around them. It is without controversy as far as the mathematics are concerned. However, physically, the theory is predicting that there is UNRWA radiation moving from the observer out to the event horizon of the universe. It is believed that as long as the acceleration is below a certain threshold, then the wavelengths of the UNRWA radiation are larger than the observable universe and cannot be contained within it. As the acceleration increases or changes, it begins to shrink the wavelength, allowing them to fit within our universe. As these wavelengths shrink, it is hypothesized that this gives rise to the thermal bath around the observer. Such a claim is hotly debated in physics. Currently, our technology is just at the cusp of being able to experiment and find out whether or not this type of radiation actually exists. Detecting this radiation will prove taxing to our abilities. However, it will provide us useful insights into quantum electrodynamics and the applications of this information outside theory and the lab. Perhaps we'll find that this is the explanation for the acceleration observed in the Galileo mission in 1990. Maybe it'll even explain the EM drive. Likely, we'll find that this theory isn't adequate at explaining either one. However, as with most routes in science, it's worthwhile to follow it and continue to analyze whatever lies along that path so that we might improve our knowledge, or our technologies for a better tomorrow. Please stay safe, my witchlings, and know that you are incredible. Never stop learning, and until next time, bye.